I used to go line by line and memorize thoroughly. And trust me, a lot of INS8 equations have come from here. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself, Dr. Akash. And in today's video, I'll be sharing a 50 day study plan to crack INS8. This plan is tailor made for those of you who are starting a little late, but still determined to give your best shot. So let's not waste any more time and dive straight into it. Now, you have got 51 days in hand, right? We'll split this 51 days into three parts. 40 days of reading, four days for grand test, and final seven days for revision. Let's first talk about what to do in these 40 reading days. What should be your daily routine? Start your day around 8 a.m. Begin with a custom module of 50 INICT PYQ based questions. This is non-negotiable. Finish them in about 30 minutes and spend 10 minutes reviewing. Since these are PYQs, 10 minutes is enough. Then take a quick 5 minutes break. Morning hours are your most productive, so make the best use of them, even during breakfast. Here's how. There's a section in first aid called rapid review, about 40 pages in total. Read one page every day during breakfast. Spend 15 to 20 minutes depending on the content. I used to go line by line and memorize thoroughly. And trust me, a lot of INS8 equations have come from here. Now, the next one and a half hours are golden. Use them for your toughest subjects, the ones you usually avoid. For me, it was Pharma, PSM and Physio. I finished them in 10 days cycle. I have made a sample schedule for four subjects, Pharma, PSM, Pathology, and OBG. You can swap them based on your own strengths. So this is the schedule for difficult subjects. I have allotted one and a half hours each day. I have uh, made schedule for Pharma, PSM, OBG and Physio. In uh, Pharma, I have allotted General Pharma on day one, next day ANS, on third day CNS, then CVS. Likewise, on day nine and ten, I have allotted anti-cancer, immunomodulator and monoclonal antibodies. I have highlighted the most important topics for INICET. All next in PSM, I have allotted two days for epidemiology and two days for biostat as these two chapters have maximum weightage for INICET. Then national program with updates on day 6 vaccine, on day 7 concepts of health and contraception, on day 8 environment and nutrition and on day 9 preventive obstetrics and pediatrics on day 10 miscellaneous topics like international health, biomedical waste management, disaster management and occupational health. Likewise in OBG on day 1 I have allotted basic concepts and bleeding in pregnancy along with APH. On day 2 teratogen, RH isoimmunization, anemia, heart disease and anticoagulants in pregnancy. On day 3 GM and twin pregnancy. On day 4 pregnancy induced hypertension, maternal pelvis, fetal skull. On day 5, everything about liver you should revise. On day 6, we should start with gynae. In gynae, give importance to PCOS, ovarian cancer, disorders of sexual development, CIN, endometriosis and vulval cancer. Read gynae cancers very well. In physio, almost all the topics are important, but you should give more importance to normal physiology, CNS, CVS, respiratory and GIT. In 4 days, you should clear the backlog. Pause the video, take a screenshot and adjust it for yourself. After this session, take a 5 minutes break. By now, it will be around 11 am and 3 sessions done already. From 11 am to 2 pm, study your allotted subject of the day. Then take a shower and have lunch. From 3 pm to 6 pm continue with the same subject. This is my 40 day schedule. Start with systems. I have allotted two systems in every day. Like cardiology and rheumatology in day 1, nephrology and respiratory system in day 2, neurology and GI in day 3. Likewise general physio and general pharma general patho in day 5. I have allotted 2 hours for general physio, general pharma and general patho. 
For surgery, I have allotted 4 days. For radio, I have allotted 1 days because radio BTR is around 6 hours and each day you will get chance to watch video of maximum 6 hours. For OBG, I have allotted 2 days. I have allotted less days for OBG and PSM because I have already allotted time for both OBG and PSM in early morning sessions. Likewise, I have allotted for dermatology half day and anesthesia half day. I have allotted 3 days for anatomy, 2 days for microbiology, 1 day for ENT, half day for psychiatry, 1 day for optha. And in the last set, I have allotted 2 days for biochemistry and 1 day for FMT. For medicine, I have allotted 3 days. In these 3 days, you should watch medicine in a day module from cerebellum app or you can watch medicine RR from any other platform. I have allotted 2 days for pathology also. And the most important part of this cycle is compiled module section, which is very very important for INICT exam. I have allotted 8 days for compiled module total. You can see, I have mentioned all the time duration for all compiled module sessions. Total 40 hour duration. And in this 8 days, if you allot 8 hours each day from 11 am to 8.30 pm, you will get 64 hours. You can easily cover 40 hours lecture within 68 hours along with breaks. This is how you can complete entire syllabus in 40 days. After 6 pm, stop reading. Switch to MCQs. Take a 30 minute break. Relax. Listen to your favorite music or do exercise. Then attempt to custom modules, one from today's main subject and one from your early morning subject. Finish both modules by 8.15 pm, then take a quick 5 minutes break. After that, review 100 questions from any GT you have already taken. Wrap it up by 9.30 pm, review the remaining 100 the next day. At 9.30 pm, have dinner. At 10 pm, get back to study with one GT based custom module. Review it thoroughly and finish by 11 pm. From 11 pm to 1 am, watch one BTR TND video, M1 video for every day. If you feel sleepy, just go to bed, it's fine. You can finish the rest in the next day. Make a simple chart to track your progress. With this, you can easily complete 4 cycles of TND videos in 40 days. If you are not following BTR, then you can use this slot 11 pm to 1 am for revising your week topics or checking recent updates in subjects like PSM and Pharma. You should give 4 GTs at least in 40 days. On a GT day, start by 10.30 am. Before you begin, quickly revise the bookmarks from your last GT as I have mentioned in previous video. After finishing the test, take a shower, have lunch and review the entire GT until 6 pm. After that, just follow the regular evening routine. So, what is the outcome of one day? 200 MCQs along with 100 GT questions reviewed plus 50 TND questions at least. That's insane if you can execute the plan. So, that's your 40 days plan. You can pause the video and take a screenshot. In my next video, I'll share how to revise in the final 7 days. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop your doubts in the comment box below and I will see you in the next video.